idiot problem, Charlie. Let it okay, you. Tony. The old idiot proof decal has made it. Uh, the probe is in the left hand, and the wires are not crossed. Very good. Okay, the temperature, uh, the shorten plug is full, and the temperature reading is reading uh, about uh, like, golly, I can't believe it. It's reading, <laughs> it's reading about like uh, three-quarter scale. Uh, Tony, let me give you a question here. Uh, the uh, down sun uh, heat probe, is going to be within uh, two meters of a uh, of about a uh, five meter crater over. That's maybe a me uh, meter deep. Is that okay, or you want me to move it? Uh, can you move it uh, to a uh, crater free area? Yes, I can. But it'll be it'll be more towards the uh, uh, the, port the portable. I mean the LSM. Okay, we'd like to do that. Okay. Now the one, the one up sign is perfect. Uh, straight up sign. Very good. Yeah, this is super place right here for this up sign one. Okay, here we go. The big drill coming up. Down into the crater he goes. There's the secondary. Little one. Like the big eyes looking at something else. Yeah. Boy, John, I'm gonna need about 23 gallons of water. This stuff sure tastes good. Okay, that connector's made somehow. And, uh... Hi. Okay. Back over here and straighten out the line. Now, while you're standing over the rover there, could you read off the heading? Well, I almost tried to... Oh, yeah, we're uh, heading as uh, one... Uh, bearing to the limb is 033. The heading is 195. Okay, 195. Right. That line between the Central Station and the uh, outset is uh, going to float in the air. Yeah, it's really things are really stiff, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, the collar's locked on the Central Station. I'm going to get the sub pallet here. Justin, you want us to tilt that package, that RTG package is okay with dirt on its floor, isn't it? Doesn't need to be all white. Okay, we'll work that. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be all white. Okay. That's my first question of the day. Okay. Our first answer. I didn't think it had thermal problems. But Tony, the, the drill, uh, 
tripod uh, deployed just as advertised. Very good. It doesn't stand up any better there than it does here, does it? No. And I dropped the port tap. But I recovered those smartly. I am getting where I can bend down in that suit, Tony. I first started off by going head over heels, but now... Look at that stupid thing. Walking in a little three meter crater here, Tony, you can see. Really dig in when you go into those craters. Man, that is a rocky place, isn't it? Boy, my suit feels good. Sure is. Hey, John, will I be in your way right here? For what? I'm gonna have to drill away from that crater Tony, I'm about uh, four or five meters away. Is that okay from that crater I described? That sounds good. Okay, we'll start drilling right here then. Well, uh, I don't think that won't be any problem. The only thing that goes down past there is the LSM. That's what I thought. And uh, we may have to deploy the LSM uh, out behind the uh, out step anyway to get it from going down that little crater there. I think 50 foot will put me right in that hole. What do you think of that, Houston? Uh, if I deploy the out step uh, behind the, uh, I mean, deploy the LSM behind the Charlie's thing here. Can y'all see this on the tube? Uh, stand by a second, John. You know, John, you need about two patches of Velcro that hold the whole thing. We got about 95. There it comes. Okay, John. We understand you're going to fly almost due west of the RCG. Right. Okay, and we need about 30 feet between that heat flow hold and the LSM.
finally got it, Tony. Very good. Better day I was worried.